In this training segment, we'll learn about using Simplicity's Case File Importer Tool. Once you're logged into the software, select the Tools menu and then Case File Importer. You'll notice that the Case File Importer accepts CSV or Excel files. Simply browse for the file, find it on your computer, and then prepare the file for uploading. You'll notice it gives the file name. We can also change the file if we wish to. We can use default mappings that we've set up previously if you have a client who gives you a file in the same format each time or we can create a new mapping. We'll go ahead and name this mapping here and you'll notice I'm given an option of two columns here. The file column is what appears in your particular file that you're trying to import and the case element column has the elements that map to simplicity. I can easily add and remove mappings by selecting the file column from my file and mapping it to a case element in simplicity. Now when I do this and try and save the mapping, simplicity knows which data elements are necessary. So it's going to give you an error there. In that last one we could see I got an error for uh, debtor first name and debtor last name. So I'm adding those right now as well as a social security number and then I'm going to go ahead and save that mapping. Once I save that mapping I can select that mapping from the list and then I go ahead and import the cases. Now importing the cases will go through and import all of the new cases that were in the file that I'd mapped data elements to. In this case, we'll see that all but two of the records were successfully imported into the system. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK to that message, and then I can view which records were not. I can view actually all the records. So I'm going to open this up in Excel. I'm going to go ahead and sort my Excel column by the error messages there, and we'll see the top two there did not import because the social security number was wrong. The data was too long there. So I can easily fix those and then re-import them using the same file mapping. If I need to roll back transactions, I can use the bulk case manager tool to delete things that were imported or move them around. 